Welcome back. As I said in the previous video, there's a new version of this piston being designed and uh, made by Mark Atkinson with a larger ledge here. Also, we're getting some spacers made to, to be able to run the, the pistons without the step uh, and have them clamped together properly. If this doesn't make any sense to you, please go and watch some of my other videos on the topic and what I'm building here. The world's most powerful two stroke. It's behind me here. <laughs> Anyways, last night it kind of dawned on me. This is a precision surface. This doesn't have to be. This is just clearance for the ring. The ring seals against the, the bottom surface. Assemble and check the gap because there's an uneven gap now with that, um, that small ledge. And then just file the top ring land and file it to, to give enough clearance for the ring. That's what we're gonna do now. And uh, if it works, we'll assemble the engine and test it. That seemed to work okay. I've got clearance all around the ring now. There's um, not much clearance, very racy clearance. Between 0.05 millimeters and like 0.04 or something. So we're, um, that's about two thousands for you Imperial people. Which isn't unheard of in, um, in race engines. So should be fine for testing. We'll have to gap this ring. This one is gapped already. Not the perfect gap job, I know, but um, for testing purposes. But we'll gap this one now, because uh, this won't fit in the, um, in the piston top with the ledge in there. So I'll gap this, and uh, clearance is okay, it seems. So um, I'll gap it, we'll assemble, do a compression test, and see how it behaves, and then try starting it.
Assembled, but the piston is hitting the head. Then I remembered. Mark left a note with the pistons and clearly said the step domes are 0.02 inches, half a millimeter high. Uh, the deck height. Forgot to change them when he did the, the pin bar. So, not a problem. I'll just make another um, gasket for them. Let's do a compression test though first and uh, then see how it behaves because that's like really interesting now. I've hooked up the um, cylinder leak tester, so not a compression test, I can't do that with a, with a piston hitting the head. So a cylinder leak down tester to see how well that's, that ring seals. And uh, keep in mind it's not broken in yet, so it's it hasn't been run at all in the engine yet. So um, we might not see the highest numbers. I have no clue here. We'll just uh, hook it up and see what happens. We're seeing about 10%. That's that's not bad at all. So we're good. We're good.
Successful first test with the new ring design. There's compression, it starts with a slow drill, no backfiring from loss of compression, idles, everything is just, just fine. It is running far too rich on this carb. There's no point in further testing in my wise here, because um, we'll have to build at least some kind of load. I'm going to build a dyno, so we'll just build that dyno, that load dyno. And uh, we need some resistance now to, to tune it and to start tuning the secondary intake. There's no point in hooking up the secondary intake, like that always open intake. Watch my earlier videos to understand what I'm talking about. There's no point in like testing that intake here, because there's no load. And it's meant to be run under constant load, constant high RPM. Yeah, woo! Works better than the previous design. Works like a normal piston ring. Because it is a normal piston ring with a hole in it and a pin to retain it. Didn't, didn't snag either. Didn't snag yet either. See you next time.